So, welcome back. Um, today, I'm going to show you a Clover Club. It's a great cocktail, one of my favorites, um, and it uses simple ingredients and fresh ingredients. And one different thing that, if you've seen some other videos, um, we've done martinis, so we've used dry vermouth, so we have some of that, and gin. So if you've done a martini, hopefully you have some of that as well. Simple syrup, which we've used in um, other cocktails as well. This one is going to use raspberries, okay? So you're going to need raspberries, simple syrup, or you can do a raspberry simple syrup, okay? Basically a cup of water, two cups of sugar, and about half a cup of raspberries. Uh, basically put the water in, muddle up the raspberries, throw the sugar in, mix it up, let it come to heat. Don't really let it boil, uh, but you want the sugar to dissolve in there. Let it cool down, bottle it up, and then you have raspberry simple syrup. You can use it for many cocktails, you know, any cocktail that calls for like grenadine, you can use. You can put this in tea. Um, you can put this in lemonade, make raspberry lemonade. So there's a lot of uses for it. Um, it'll last about a month in the fridge. If you throw some vodka in there, last four or five months. Or that's been my experience. Okay. Or just say you you don't want to do that because you don't know if you're going to like this or not. You can use simple syrup and some fresh raspberries to muddle in there. Okay. Uh, then you're going to need gin, lemon juice, and some dry vermouth. Okay. So easy cocktail. The first thing that we're going to do, I'm not going to use this, the uh, raspberry syrup. I'm gonna do it the old fashioned way. You're gonna need half an ounce of just regular one-to-one -one simple syrup. And we're gonna throw that in there. And you're gonna to wanna to throw in three or four raspberries, okay? So I'm gonna throw in, these are pretty big, I'm gonna throw in three. I'm gonna eat one just to make sure they taste all right, and they do. And you don't wanna just obliterate the raspberries in here. You just kinda of want it, cause they're really soft. Hit them maybe three times with the muddler. That's all you really need. And then the raspberry juice is gonna get in there and make it raspberry syrup, basically. All right, then you need half an ounce of freshly squeezed lemon juice. Um, I just did this uh, before I pushed play. So half an ounce of that, gonna go in there. And if you're doing a lot of cocktails, it's really good to take your strainer and just, um, you know, if, if, if you're using lemons or lime juice or whatever, you can uh, strain it um, and, you know, maybe do four or five lemons at a time so you have enough to make your friends' cocktails when they're over. Um, so I've got that in there. We're gonna do half an ounce of dry vermouth. Um, if you have blanc vermouth, you can use that as well. But I'm gonna use, this is the traditional recipe. So half an ounce of dry vermouth, throw that in there. And then we're gonna need one and a half ounces of dry gin. This is out of Austin. This is still Austin uh, gin. It's made with rye. Uh, Nikki Claybrook got this for me, for us. And uh, it's really good. It's a little spicy, uh, but I think it makes an excellent clover club, so I'm gonna use it. And that is one and a half ounces, and I will put the uh, recipe down below and then this uses egg white okay so I think last week I used an egg white in a cocktail um, you want about half an ounce of egg white um, for this and this is a kind of a small egg so sometimes I'll put it in a container and just kind of uh, whip it up before I put it in there but this I'm just going to uh, throw the whole uh, egg white in or most of it anyway. There we go. And that's really all you need for this. And I'm wipe my hands off. And then I'm gonna dry shake it um, to incorporate everything and make it nice and frothy. And that's really what the egg white does. You won't taste anything, but it'll make it nice and creamy and silky. Okay? So you want to make sure that you lock your tin really well because there's no ice in here. It's not getting cold to kind of seal it up and you'll want to hold kind of both ends as you do this dry shake. So 10 seconds to, kind of a hard dry shake, but 10 seconds to mix everything up. That. 
And then what you'll want to do is throw in, and I will throw it back in there and kind of see it's nice and frothy. Throw your ice in there. Fill the tin about halfway up, what I usually do. And then we're going to shake it with ice for about 10 seconds to chill it down and give it some dilution. It's about nine seconds, but it's freezing cold. There we go. And because we used um, raspberries, um, we want to double strain this to get the ice chips out and any uh, raspberry pieces in there. And you can see that it's nice and frothed up. In there. Take that. And just kind of hit it to get it all nice in there. So it gives it a really beautiful color, kind of pink and red uh, due to the raspberries. And I just garnish with whatever fruit that I have. Uh, raspberries, obviously, but you can do raspberries. Uh, and blackberries if you want to and just lay on there or throw it in there which is what I'm going to do and you can see how thick that is like the raspberries are sitting on top and that's really what you want so let's give it a little taste oh man that's really good it's nice and fruity um, it's not sour even though it has lemon juice in it um, the gin and the vermouth. I mean, it's like a sour martini with raspberries and it's it's delicious. It's a little sweet, uh, a little herby, um, but it's a really good cocktail. Hopefully you try it. Uh, let me know if you do. And if there's any cocktails you want to kind of see how uh, to make them, let me know. And we'll see you next time. Bye.